In the past three decades, the organic agriculture industry has emerged as a major component in creating regional sustainability. Delightful. Every two years, the Regional Organic Agriculture Committee convenes for the Organicology Fair. We caught up with Stacy Croker with Organically Grown Company, one of the sponsors of this event. The whole concept actually grew out of the desire of um, four organic trade organizations. Um, I work for Organically Grown Company. We're the largest organic produce distributor in the Northwest. And we had been doing these vendor fairs, what we called them, where we'd gather together our growers from all over, um, from Mexico and the Northwest, and bring them up and have our retailers, our customers, meet with them so they could see who's growing their product and really talk with, and talk with them and get to know what it is that they're selling in the stores. Well, the same thing was happening with three other organizations who we work with, um, the Sustainable Food Trade Association, then Oregon Tilth, which is a large certifying agency, and the Organic Seed Alliance. Really, it was this conversation that was happening and saying we're all doing our own conferences, but wouldn't it be amazing if we could bring all of those sectors together because, you know, we're all working toward the same goal of growing organics and feeding people that uh, organic food and promoting organics so and educating ourselves and the, and the consumers about that so let's get all together and bring together all those disparate you know parts of this puzzle the goal is to bring together the seeds people the produce distributors the growers the retailers consumers educators researchers and all come together and have the conversation of how do we support the growth of organics because organics is a growing sector even in a down market organics continues to grow and that's projected for the next year as well about a seven percent growth for organics overall so it's so important for us to be having this conversation how do we support that growth how do we continue to support it also how do we channel challenge ourselves to keep integrity and to stay real and true while we're trying to move organics into the mainstream. I mean, the goal, my goal, is that we wouldn't have this so-called conventional agriculture industry, and instead we'd have organics, and that would be what is conventional. There is plenty of knowledge and experience in the crowd. We talked with Bob Scrocoff who has been working with the organic agricultural movement for the past three decades. What are some of your thoughts on uh, what we've got to do for the future of organics here? Well, many people keep talking about beyond organic, mm -hmm. um, as if that's a train station that one's going to stop at. Yeah. And I'm really trying to change the terminology and call it enhancing organic. The fact of the matter is we are at the organic train station, and now we need to enhance it. Mm -hmm. And it's life's work to do that. Social justice, farm labor, mm -hmm. climate change, pollution. We, have, we have a lot of work to do, but it's within the context of an organic system. My quip is the great box stores that take hundreds of thousands of square feet and have organic cereal in boxes um, have just introduced us to an economic strata we never successfully introduced ourselves to. Yeah. And so now our job is to set up a table right outside their legal limits yeah, and yeah. get those people leaving to eat a real peach. Then we got them. <laughs>